Today I want to talk about a really game changer feature of my train plugin and that is texture streaming. This is really bring us one big step forward in Godot to be able to create open world games. Before I show you how this works, let's do a small experiment. First I create an empty scene with one cube in that and then let's see how much GPU memory that occupies. And now if I go to debugger, you can see it's already occupied 465 megabyte of the texture memory and 510 megabyte of the GPU memory. Because even with an empty scene, Godot has a lot of internal things like frame buffer and so on, which occupy GPU memory. And another thing that I want to mention here is that when I move fast, even with an empty scene, frame rate will drop. And that is because Godot is calculating global illumination for new part of the scene, even for empty scene. Okay, now let's add a train. I remove all of the texture on the train and only I add height map and normals of the train. And by the way, these are the heaviest texture for open world game. These two textures together occupy 1.8 gigabyte. Okay, to test this, let's add a 256 square kilometer train. Okay, this is my train from far. And it does not seem that train occupy a lot of GPU memory. If you do a simple mass, you can see train right now use only 4 megabyte of the texture memory and 21 megabyte of the entire GPU memory. And this is the 16 kilometer by 16 kilometer train bigger than many open world game. Now let's get closer to the train. As you can see, as I get close to the train, texture memory will increase a little bit. And train basically stream a high resolution of the texture to where it is closer to camera. By the way, these mountains are really far away. The scale of this map is not correct. And because there is nothing on the ground, you cannot understand that. And now the entire train texture on GPU memory is around 40 megabyte, almost nothing. Now, if I get far from the train again, you can see that GPU memory usage will decrease because the level of detail on the train is decreasing. It would be nice if Godot had texture streaming for other stuff. But at least this train do its job. And no matter how much big is your train, you should not worry about train GPU memory usage. The only thing that you should pay attention is RAM memory usage. And by the way, the RAM memory is much cheaper than graphic memory. And there is another thing that I should mention here. The train setting is really important. If you put a bad setting here, this train system will not work good. Right now, I'm working on the train and testing that to find a balanced setting for all kinds of train. And I will make a doc page for this train as soon as I finish train. Until the next video, have a good time.